Hey, hey, it's me. Um, I've been meaning to make a video for, for quite some time. Uh, excuse the mess. It's the weekend and, uh, I'm just chilling. Um, I haven't made a video in a, in, oh geez, I don't even know how long. A month? Maybe two? Um, but I did want to give an update on where I'm at and how I've been. Um, I've done quite a few drops since, um, since the last time I made a video. Uh, I started at 80 milligrams equivalent, um, of Xanax, uh, crossed over to Valium, um, with the equivalency of 80 milligrams of Valium. And I have been doing drops every two weeks um, at five milligrams and have gotten down to, uh, starting today, um, 25 milligrams. Um, so I'm completely off the Xanax. I'm only on the Valium. Um, and to me, uh, the Valium is, uh, so much better, um, if you're cross tapered correctly, uh, because you don't get those inner dose withdrawals and you don't get those tolerance withdrawals with the Valium. Um, it, it's much easier to come down off of the Valium than it is Xanax. Um, Xanax is just too strong um, a drug to, to taper. I mean, it would be virtually impossible really to get, to get the, the low numbers you need to. Um, I'm at the point now where my milligram droppage has gone from five milligrams. Um, now I'll be dropping, uh, 2.5 milligrams, um, in my drops. Um, and, uh, here in a few, here in a, I, I think, uh, four more weeks in about four more weeks. Um, the drops get smaller to one milligram at a time every two weeks. So, um, it's a great slow process, the Ashton manual, um, the Ashton method. Um, it's a great slow process that gives your brain and your body time to really, um, get used to being without, um, mass amounts of, um, benzos in your system. Um, Xanax is a very, very strong strong benzodiazepine. Um, most people don't know that, but I mean, you trust your doctors and you just, you just don't know. Um, and, and until you see the equivalencies of what it is compared to Valium. And like when I first discovered that one milligram of Valium is the equivalency of 20 milligrams or one, one milligram of Xanax, one milligram of Xanax, pardon me, one milligram of Xanax is the equivalent of 20 milligrams of Valium. And, um, that's just most people, like any random person that hasn't been on that medication, that would fucking knock them out. Um, and, uh, but I just wanted to get on here and, um, give people support and hope, um, to know that slow and steady, um, and just radical acceptance of what the process is going to be, but don't, it, it, it kind of like accept that you're going to be a bit uncomfortable. Um, but know that you're going to live through that and, and know that you're going to be stronger for it. Um, know that, uh, anxiety won't kill you. I know it feels like it will, but it won't, it, it, it won't kill you. It's very, very, um, it's just, it's really hard to explain unless you've, you've been in that arena, um, fighting the, the panic attacks. Um, but where I'm at now, uh, when I was on the four milligrams of Xanax, being on 25 milligrams of Valium, which is only about a milligram of Xanax, 
Um, I feel much better, um, way more in control of my emotions and anxiety. I just all around feel better. I feel hope. I feel, um, even though it's a long process and I, I still have a ways to go, I'm not as afraid. Um, I don't um, dwell on like what to expect because it's all going to affect us differently um, and it will affect each of us differently. So I just put no expectations on it and I just accept the fact that, okay, I have to make a drop and we'll just see how I do. We'll and, and see how I feel. And so far, each drop, um, I don't want to say it necessarily gets easier. Um, the first couple of days of a drop is a bit more uncomfortable than once your body gets used to it. And then you make another drop. And then your, your body and your brain has to get used to it. And it just becomes this process that you accept and, um, and you stop fearing it. And once you get to a place where you stop fearing it, um, you, when you stop fearing it, I'm, I'm trying to explain it. Um, when you stop fearing it, it really gives you strength and it really gives you hope. And it's a feeling of, I know I can get this done and I'm going to get this done and I'm going to be I mean, I'm strong right now, but at the end of this, I'm going to be so fucking strong that nothing is going to be able to rile my, my feathers. Like my, my feathers will never be fluffed, you know, like, um, I think I am about seven months in, I've been doing this process for seven months. Um, and, uh. When I first started, I was very, I was very scared and very like, oh my God, this is such a long process. I don't know if I can do it. And when I stopped being afraid of the process and accepted the process and did the process, um, things calmed down. Things calmed down. Um, I am sleeping okay. Um, I do tend to wake up a little bit more than um, the Xanax was prescribed partially to help me sleep. Um, but now at nighttime, I'm taking the equivalent of, um, 0.5 milligrams of Xanax. Um, and, uh, I'm still able to sleep. Um, and I have started taking lemon balm gummies at night, um, which tend to, that helps a lot, um, to help get me to sleep. Um, doesn't necessarily keep me asleep. I do wake up about every two hours, but I'm able to fall back asleep. Um, and uh, so those of you that are going through this process, um, just know that I'm rooting for you. And I know that you can do it. Um, and you have the strength to do it. Um, if I can do it, uh, anybody can do it. And... Um, just any advice that the, the advice that I can give is just accept it. Um, know you're going to feel uncomfortable and you'll make it to, you'll, you'll make, you'll make it to your goal and you'll make it to the end of the taper and, and, uh, you'll be healthy and your GABA receptors will start to function again. And, um, You'll just be more lively. And uh, so I just wanted to do an update video and let you guys know that I am doing uh, quite well, um, very well. Um, the depression is actually much better um, because benzos are a depressant and taking them can increase depression. Uh, so with less of that in my system, I am feeling less depressed. Um, so um, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. When you're going through hell, 
Keep on going. Don't stop. Don't stop in hell. Just plow through fucking hell, and you'll make it out the other side. And uh, you're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And uh, we're going to help teach this world. And we're going to help teach other people that coming off of benzos is a doable thing. If you have the right support system. And I mean, your support system can be yourself. Um, and if you have the right doctor. If you have the right psych doctor that is willing to do a very slow taper with you. Um, that's number one, I think, is finding the right doctor that will listen to you and let you lead your own taper. Of course, guided by their knowledge, but a lot of them actually don't know how to get people off of benzos. Um, and, uh, and the lady that I'm working with, um, she's very encouraging. Um, she always says that I'm her hero and, um, she has a copy of the Ashton manual and, um, is learning from it. So she's going to be able to help other people come off of these drugs when they are ready. Um, because you can't just yank somebody off of the medication. It's, it's gotta be something you want to do. Um, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it's going to start doing what it did to me with the interdose withdrawals and the tolerance withdrawals. It's, it's, it's not if, it's when. And uh, when that happens and you get into that terrified state and you know you have to do something, um, you'll do it and uh, you'll come through the other side and you're going to be amazing. So I just wanted to share an update video. Um, I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I'm doing incredibly well. Um, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. Um, and I feel very grateful that, um, that I have made it as far as I've made it. Um, 80 milligrams down to 25. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later.